T minus 20 seconds. T minus 10. of an ILS proton rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan carrying the 4-5 communications satellite. We've just had liftoff and the satellite perform or the launch vehicle is performing a roll maneuver. T plus 20 seconds into the flight. Engine combustion chambers, pressure is within We're coming limits. up on the first event, which is max dynamic pressure or max alpha Q. This is the point at which the maximum aerodynamic uh, load on the vehicle is experienced. It corresponds approximately to about Mach 1 and occurs at uh, 66 seconds after liftoff. As you can see, everything is going quite well. 50 seconds into the flight. Launch vehicle engines operation is stable. We are now 60 seconds. Everything seems to be proceeding anomaly. The launch vehicle heads in the easterly direction with a flight azimuth of about 61 degrees. Fly status is go. We have first stage, first, second stage separation confirmed. Separation is a good one. Launch vehicle engine's performance is stable. It's a hot fire separation where the second stage actually ignites before the stages separate. All four engines are burning nominally. Other key mission milestones or marked events are coming up the next few minutes. Uh, the next one will be stage two, three separation at L plus five minutes and 32 seconds. 12 seconds later, the payload fairing will jettison. These are the critical milestones in, in the mission profile. Trey? Jim, thank you. A beautiful liftoff. Clear skies. Everything worked out perfectly. Liftoff, certainly the most dramatic and exciting part of the launch mission. However, there is really a lot that happens behind the scenes to get to that one big breathtaking moment. Orbital CEO David Thompson talks about 4-5 and the mission from Baikonur uses up all of its propellant so that you can give the, the maximum performance to the mission and uh, put the satellite in the best orbit possible. So we're just waiting for confirmation of that. The, uh, we have a, uh, there's a little bit of a delay between the actual flight telemetry that comes down from the vehicle. It has to be processed uh, at a processing facility in Baikonur and, and then uh, what we call stripped and shipped. The information stripped out and then shipped to various places uh, at the Cosmodrome. We have confirmation that the second and third stage has separated. We also have confirmation of a very nice separation of the payload fairing. That is great news. And you, you were looking at it and didn't think there was going to be a problem. It looks like everything worked out just as planned. Doesn't get much more perfect than that. Well, in what has become a tradition for proton launches, the local Russian Orthodox priest blessed the Thor 5 rocket launch team and the VIPs as you're taking a look in this video right now. Now, at the end of the blessing, we will receive a word from Kato Halsa, CEO of Telenor Satellite Broadcasting. Thank you. We have just received the blessing. So Proton and Tor 5 is ready to go.